it's delayed. This app for this thing, it is delayed. I don't know if it's my Wi-Fi. I can't figure it. Hey, welcome back. Good to see you guys. Today's a brand new day and it's a brand new video day. And uh, yeah, um, I'm a little little bummed right now. My final mouse, uh, I love this mouse. Little Sunset Edition was gifted to me. Uh, the little scroll wheel, it just free spins. There's a little pin in there. It broke. So now I can't use my final mouse anymore. But I now I'm gonna use this Aki one, uh, which I reviewed in another video. You can check it out if you want, no pressure. Yeah, you know, hey, nice, nice lighting, right? You know, it looks pretty good. Anyways, uh, so today <laughs> we're gonna be making a whole new video, and today I want to show you guys something kind of cool, which you guys might be interested in, and that's all about having two different recordings going on in the same video, so that in post production, when you're editing your video, you can kind of take whatever you need and apply it to your video. You know, if you're like a gameplay kind of person and you want to set up your whole YouTube video where it's just like gameplay, but then sometimes you want to put in your face cam, but you sometimes want to go full screen and you don't want to like take a small image and then blow it up. You want to make sure everything's like one to one and looks nice, right? So I'm teaching you guys today how to make this happen. And that is to do something kind of that you might not think is normal. So I'm going to jump in and show you guys exactly how to set up a multi recording situation inside of OBS. Now for this, I want you to keep in mind that it's going to be one video that you're essentially going to be cutting up. Now to do this, you need to open up a nice little instance of OBS. If I open that up now, there's a couple ways to go about this. You already have to be in the mindset of thinking, do I need two sources, three sources, four sources? How many sources do I need? And let's just call it up to four, uh, because if you go any more than that, things are going to get a little bit more tricky and you're going to have a pretty giant file, uh, I think. So let's stick with uh, two sources, but I'll show you how to do four just in case. Uh, right off the bat, you wanna go ahead and go into your settings and you wanna start to set up your OBS the proper way. So if I go over here to the output, we wanna make sure that we are in the advanced mode because advanced gives you more options and more flexibility. Now this doesn't really work for streaming. If you're streaming, your entire preview is what's going out to Twitch or YouTube or wherever you're streaming. So make sure that you are only doing the recording, unless you need to stream. If you need to stream, make sure to set up multiple scenes for that, but don't do this for streaming. This is not something you wanna do for streaming. Anyways, go over here to recording. You're gonna to wanna to set this to MP4 or MOV. You could use these other ones, but I'm gonna go ahead and stick with MP4. It's primarily the one that I use, and it also allows you to upload to like Twitter and stuff, so keep that in mind. MP4 is like your best friend on the internet. Down here, you're gonna to wanna to select CBR. That's constant bit rate. You're gonna to wanna to set your bit rate to something like between 10 and 20,000 minimum. Now, I know that sounds kind of bonkers, but you'll you'll understand why here in a second. Key frames, I'm gonna leave it at two. I'm gonna put this at max quality. I'm gonna leave this at high. I'm gonna leave these settings as is and just hit apply. Now, when we record, it's going to record at whatever resolution we set it to, so we have to set that up. But first, I'm gonna come over here to audio, make sure I got some, uh, some default audio going on for my desktop, my mic can be my chat mic, I'm gonna hit apply. And then back down here, I'm gonna go back to video and this is where you actually need to start realizing what to change your resolution to to make this work. Now, now to do this, you wanna go ahead and create a custom resolution, but if you are doing a four video setup, here's what you need to do. Go ahead and open up your calculator. Now, you might already know the answer to these, uh, these numbers here, but what you essentially wanna do is you wanna change over to 4K. So your resolution, you're gonna to wanna to have that be at 1920 times two which is 3840, right? So 3840, we're gonna go ahead and type in 3840. And then X, next we're gonna need to type in 1080 times two, hit enter and that's 2160. So over here we're gonna type in 2160. And then for the output scaled, we're gonna leave that at maximum resolution. We're gonna set this to 36 samples and our FPS. You can kind of change this to whatever you want. I'm gonna put it as 60 and hit apply. And now this would be again to set up a four cam or four screen situation. I'm, I'm only going to do two here in a second, but I'll show you what to do with that. Uh, so I'm going to hit OK. And now our resolution and base canvas is 4K and to go ahead and set this up properly. Now, so for this, you're going to need to set up four different sources that is going to be all kind of stitched together inside of an edit. So you're going to have four different screens here. And to do that, you're going to go ahead and add a source. We're going to just get a little video source here. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna hit okay. And now you can see right there, there is our source number one. Now keep in mind, this is a 1080p source and it's in the upper left-hand quadrant. So now we're gonna need to add something else and we're gonna add a display capture. I'm gonna hit okay. I'm gonna hit okay again. And that's gonna be our second source. And you can kind of see where this is going from here. And if I go ahead and right click on this and we copy and we paste it, I can move this over here. And if I had another camera, I would put it down here maybe. And now you can see we have four different 
cameras. <laughs> I know that we don't, but essentially we have four different quadrants here, right? So if I blow this up, you're going to see that we have the top left, we have the top right, we have the bottom right and the bottom left. Now in an editing suite, you'd basically take these and you'd crop them in. And now those are your four individual sources and they're all being recorded at the exact same time. So for me, I actually don't need all four sources. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one. We're gonna delete that one. We're gonna leave it as two. I'm coming back into settings and I'm gonna go up to here and instead of typing in 2160, we're gonna leave it as 1080. Now that's just gonna keep it at the half resolution that we had a second ago, but 1080 is our max height anyways. So if I had applied and then hit okay, now you're gonna see we have the two different screens here. We're gonna do a little test here and I'm gonna show you exactly how to set this up in the edit as well. So if I come over here and I just start to record, this is looking pretty good. I'm gonna put this off screen here for a second. Now you can't see what's happening, but basically we are taking my desktop and we're taking this face cam and I'm recording them at the exact same time. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stop this recording and we'll uh, we'll take a look again. So now that we're here and we we're finished up with our recording, I'm gonna hit stop. And so now you're gonna come up to file and hit show recordings. That's gonna show where your uh, your file was saved to. Now, if you don't know where it was saved to, you can go back in your settings. And if you wanted to customize it, you can actually go back into the output and you can switch up where you wanna save it to by hitting browse and just putting it into the spot that you wanna put it into. So now that we have our file, again, show recordings, we have this file, I'm gonna put it on my desktop. I'm gonna close out of this. I'm gonna close out of OBS. And now we're gonna open up an instance of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now you can do this in DaVinci Resolve. You can do it in any editing suite that you have. I'm gonna use uh, Adobe here because we already have it set up. So this is normally where I'm editing my, uh, my, my projects and whatnot. And on the top left, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new bin. This new bin is just gonna be called for this uh, video. We're gonna call this uh, Testing Out Dual. Then we're gonna double click on that folder. It's gonna open up this bin and we're gonna import our brand new file. Now you don't have to sit there and actually import. You can just simply drag and drop on into your timeline. Next step, you're gonna need to create a brand new sequence. Now, normally you can just right click and you can come down here to a new sequence from clip. You do that. It sets up your sequence just like that. You can see that we already have our file above. Now, uh, if I play this, but basically we were taking my desktop and we're taking- You can hear myself. I'm gonna mute myself for now, but uh, just keep in mind that the audio is playing. I just happened to mute it. You can see we have two different videos here, but we only want one video on our YouTube. You're not gonna post a, a super wide video like this on your YouTube. So to keep it nice and simple, you're gonna just go ahead and uh, first of all, let's, let's title this thing. Let's call it the sequence. And this is our clip. I'll leave it like that because it's a little descriptive on the date and time that I recorded it at. You're gonna click on your sequence and you're gonna right click on it and you're gonna go down to sequence settings. Now, when you do that, you're going to get a bunch of options here. Now, what I want to do is I want to set this to 1920. So we're taking our wide aspect ratio and we're cutting it in half. So now we're going to be back to 1920 by 1080. I'm going to hit OK. And it's going to ask me if I uh, if everything's going to be fine. It's going to be cut up and stuff. You just hit yes. So now you can see it's split right down the middle. That's not what we want. Our first step is moving our video into place. Now, grabbing our whole video right here, I'm going to come up to the position and we're going to type in 1920 and I'm gonna hit enter and you can see just like that now my full screen full cam on the left hand side so that's looking pretty good but we now need our second source so if we hold alt and I drag up on this clip it creates a duplicate version of it but not the audio so now we're gonna be we're, we're technically looking at that same face cam but we're gonna come over here and we're gonna click on this and instead I'm gonna hit zero and hit enter and now we are looking at our other screen now to see what's actually happening here. If I go back to 1920 and I slowly start to drag this down to zero, you can see that we're just sliding it over essentially, right? So you're just sliding it over. I'm going to hit zero to go ahead and lock it up. Pixel perfect movements here. So that's looking pretty good. Again, 1920. And uh, yeah, so in case you bump those, just remember those two numbers, zero and 1920. So pretty good. So now we're, we're all set up. And uh, what I can do is I can go ahead and preview this. So while this is all happening here, I can actually uh, uncheck this little toggle track output. And you can actually see that I'm talking here and I can re toggle it if I wanted to, and then keep showing back and forth, which is uh, what's doing what now to make this easy on yourself, you can always type this to like 50% on the uh, on the second video. That way you already know what's going on in the background. Now, Again, you can already tell like we were talking about OBS and we had the two screens up. So you can kind of see exactly what's happening 
as we were making this happen. So maybe this might make it easy for you to uh, to sit there and edit. So if I really want to here, I can go ahead and just lock the audio track because it's linked to my duplicated video track. And if I wanted to, I can come up here and I could, uh, you know, hit C and I can cut this part right here. And maybe after a little bit more, maybe I actually want to cut it right at that point. And I can just take this side and hit backspace, take this side and hit backspace. And maybe now I can set this back to a 100% uh, opacity. And now when I'm playing, there's my edit, and then I go back to my face, and then if I wanted more, I could continue editing that way. Or I could simply just, I can uncheck the little lock, and I can actually slide this over. So now I have my video feed here, as well as my video feed here, which was the, uh, just the little you know, the, the, the wallpaper I had going on. So now uh, if I need this audio back over here, I can simply just take the, se the same sequence and bring it down if I wanted to, or I can just go ahead and alt drag this one down and now take this top audio because it's not linked. If I clicked on here, it's linked. Now, if I click on this, I can drag it back over here, bring it back on top. And now we are pretty good. Now, essentially I have two different clips. So now this one is down here with the audio and now this one's down here with the audio. Now, if I really wanted to get fancy here, I could click and drag right here and I can right click and I can click on nest. Now, when I nest this clip, I can call this full cam and hit OK. And now I can go over here, do the exact same thing. And we're going to call this gameplay and hit OK. Now, why would we do that? So if you go back into your project manager here instead of the bin that we were just inside of, uh, you're actually going to see it's going to create these two different sequences right here. Now that I dragged it in here, I can double click and go back inside. Uh, you can see now we have full cam and gameplay. And so if I accidentally delete these, I still have them technically right here and I can bring in my gameplay. There's my gameplay. And now maybe I want my face cam right here. And then maybe I want to mute this audio, but I want to keep this audio live. So this is looking pretty good. I'm there you go. Off pretty simple stuff, second. right? Now, yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's, it makes it nice and easy for editing and uh, making quick, easy clips. If you want to uh, retain all the information from your full screen face cam and your full screen gameplay without sacrificing having what essentially is an overlay that I'm doing right now. If I close out of this now, this screen that you're seeing right now, this is baked in. I can't separate this video from that video. And I mean, I could, but then it'd just be a black square right here and that wouldn't look very good. So this is how you can kind of have like two separate videos going on at the exact same time that you can then take it into your editing suite and then pull them apart essentially and then start to work with them and drag and drop them or maybe shrink it down or make your own overlays and whatnot. It does take an extra step to separate those two clips, but just keep in mind that you can do this and you don't have to sacrifice the quality of having a smaller screen that you have to blow up in the end. But uh, yeah, that's it. That's this whole video. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Hopefully it's easy to follow along. You're basically just changing your canvas to 4K and then uh, cutting it up in the ways that you need it or you're changing into like super ultra widescreen 4K and then you're cutting it in half. So just keep that in mind on how to uh, produce your videos for YouTube or whatnot and retain quality in both. So again, want to make sure that you double your bitrate as well because you want to have enough bitrate for both sides. And if you normally record at 10,000 bit rate, give it that extra 20,000, let it, let it get all that extra because you're, you're at a higher resolution, meaning you're needing more bit rate. If you keep the same bit rate at a higher resolution, you're going to have a little bit more problems and maybe some more art artifacting. So keep that in mind. Anyways, that's it. You know, if, if you guys can go ahead and hit that like button, dude, that'd be great, man. Hit the sub button while you're at it. And maybe that little notification bell. So every time you see these videos pop up, maybe you can go ahead and check them out. Now, if you don't like it next time, you can always unsub. You don't have to stay subbed. If maybe the content's not for you, go ahead and unsub, dude. But maybe wait till next video and we'll go from there. Appreciate you guys. Catch you next time. If you guys ever want to drop into the channel, twitch.tv slash activator, activator.tv. Same thing. I'll catch you there Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All right. That's it. Have a good one. Take it easy. Peace.